They may not push around big piles of dirt, dig trenches or drill shafts, but rough terrain forklifts are some of the most useful and versatile pieces of equipment on the job site. These powerful workhorses can do some pretty amazing stuff. Jobs that'd be tough to do with any other piece of equipment. They're hard working machines, but rough terrain forklifts aren't invincible. They're only as productive as you make them and only as safe as you are. Forklifts have the power to lift materials by the ton, but they also have the potential to do serious harm. Thousands of forklift related accidents occur each year. Some resulting in serious injuries or fatalities. Think about their sheer mass alone. Forklifts can weigh several tons. Carrying a load restricts your visibility and challenges the unit's stability. As a result, you face serious hazards like overturning and becoming crushed, dropping your load, or striking a coworker. If you're watching this program, chances are you operate one of these machines, or you will be soon. As you'll see here, when you operate a forklift, maintaining stability is the name of the game, and it's not always easy. The better you understand how a forklift operates and handles loads, the better you'll be able to keep your machine upright and yourself and your coworkers out of the emergency room. Let's review some key information. No, I got you. You may know some of this stuff already, but we can all use a refresher from time to time, right? We're going to cover forklift basics, including how they work and how to keep them stable, how to avoid hazards on the job site, and how to keep your coworkers out of danger, pre-operation inspections, guidelines for operating a forklift and picking up and delivering a load, how to refuel forklifts, and finally, We'll look at how to keep a forklift secure when you're not using it. This training covers generally accepted safety practices. Keep in mind that your company may have specific safety requirements or procedures that you should follow. Every job site and situation is unique, and operating procedures may vary. There's a lot to know, but as a forklift operator, you need to know it all. Whether you're new to forklift operation or you've been at it for years, you need to follow basic safety practices and a simple set of rules every time you get behind the wheel. Beginning with, never operate a forklift unless you've been trained and authorized to do so. On a forklift, the pivot point is usually the center of the front axle. The weight of the vehicle, including the counterweight, makes up one side of the lever. The boom and carriage make up the other side of the lever. So. In order to lift a 4,000 pound load, you need more than 4,000 pounds behind the front axle, or you'll tip over. To keep a forklift stable, you need to understand two concepts. Another constant consideration on the job site is looking out for electrical hazards. If you get too close to a power line or other component carrying live electrical current, even if you don't make direct contact, you run the risk of being seriously injured or injuring someone who's close by. Always maintain the minimum clearance from power lines required by OSHA. Stay aware of conditions like poor visibility, lack of concentration, shifting loads or unstable surfaces that could cause the forklift to contact power lines or get too close. So, apart from safe operation, what can you do to protect yourself and others on a job site? Well, you can start by getting to know your machine and performing a thorough pre-operation inspection. Let's take a closer look at this. On a job site, you may have several different sizes or types of forklifts, so it's important that you take the time to understand the capabilities and controls of a vehicle before you use it. However, not all rough terrain forklifts are limited to rear steering. Some brands and models have the ability to switch between rear steering, four-wheel steering, and crab steering. This allows the machine to pick up and move loads in the most efficient manner. Of course, you must be trained in all steering modes that you'll use. Remember that the forks extend outside your turning radius, so give yourself plenty of room. And always avoid making sharp turns. Take them nice and easy. When you come upon a slope or incline, approach it carefully, straight on, and keep an eye on the terrain in front of your load. Think about the center of gravity and the stability triangle and how they'll be affected by picking up the load. Remember, as the load is raised and the boom is extended, the combined center of gravity moves toward the base of the stability triangle, 
putting you at greater and greater risk of a front tip over. If the load or its center of gravity shifts to one side, say because you're descending a slope at an angle, the combined center of gravity will move toward the side of the stability triangle, creating the possibility of overturning to the side. Make sure you understand the load chart before you attempt to pick up a load, and stay constantly aware of the terrain and how it can affect your stability. Make sure that you get your machine level. Make sure you're watching out for potholes or rocks, especially if you're in high grass, that could throw you off and you could tip the machine over or actually lose the load or both. Let's watch a load being delivered from start to finish. For this lift, let's say the operator needs to place a 2,000 pound load on the third floor of a building, which is around 24 feet. The first step is to review the information on the load chart. The load chart tells us that in order to deliver the load to the third story, the operator could extend the boom up to 20 feet in order to maintain a safe load radius. The operator centers the load on the forks, tilts the carriage back slightly to stabilize it, and carries the load as close to the vehicle and as close to the ground as possible. The operator enlists the help of a spotter who knows company approved hand signals to help guide the load to its spot on the raised platform. Ideally, the spotter should be standing on the same level as the target zone to the side of where the operator will place the load. The operator first lifts the load up to the level of the landing zone, checks the boom angle indicator and the boom extension gauge. Once the operator reaches the desired level and gets the all clear from the spotter on the landing zone, the operator can extend the boom and deliver the load. Whether you operate a forklift every day or just once in a while, it's critical that you have the necessary training and are armed with the understanding of the specific equipment that you are going to use and how to operate it safely. After a while, especially if you're moving pretty much the same loads day after day, it can become easy to take things for granted, to become complacent about your responsibilities as a forklift operator. Don't let this happen to you. Remember that rough terrain forklifts are among the most useful and the potentially most hazardous pieces of equipment on the job site. Stay sharp, know your equipment, and know your load. If you do, you'll be able to keep your forklift stable, handle the toughest loads, and keep yourself and your coworkers safe. Sounds like a pretty good deal to me.